early this morning under the light of the supermoon. A loggerhead turtle, 30 feet from water's edge, begins to lay her eggs. This is always pretty, pretty fantastic. Fantastic, say biologists, because 20 years ago, sea turtle nests were in steep decline. But this year, from beaches in Virginia south and all along the Gulf Coast, a strong resurgence. It's been a prolific year in just 13 miles along Florida's east coast, more than 20,000 nests. But there are problems, and it has everything to do with global climate change. A turtle's sex is determined not by chromosomes, rather, it's all about the temperature of the sand. There's an old saying in the sea turtle community, hot chicks, cool dudes, because you tend to end up with more females at warmer temperatures and more male hatchlings at cooler temperatures. Researchers say those hatchlings this morning were most certainly all female. We have this high percentage of, of all female years. Florida Atlantic University professor Jeanette Weineken says 82 degrees or below, you get boys. 88 degrees or above, girls. That's a problem because you have to have boys. Plain and simple. This is a, a loggerhead turtle. So this is a green sea turtle. Those turtles threaten species. 15 miles from shore, far from predators lurking on the beach. We're going to put him in. Scientists with the most endangered of all turtles, the leatherback. Did we get coordinates? With tiny trackers, scientists hope to beat the odds. Currently, only one in a thousand makes it to adulthood. As leatherbacks go, so too do, do, do the oceans and the oceans that we, um, humanity, depend upon. So their fate there is inextricably linked with our own. Terry Sanders, NBC News, Melbourne, Florida.